welcome along and welcome to this first look at Fairhead. This is a map by Fast Farming and ES Agri. Uh, it is based, uh, well, it's inspired by the real area of Fairhead in Northern Ireland. And it is, uh, quite honestly, from what I've seen so far, pretty gorgeous. Uh, I have, uh, as always, uh, only had enough of time on here to get the landy and have a quick uh, peruse of the map itself. I've had a quick look around the yard, and if the yard is anything to go by with the rest of this map, uh, then it's pretty impressive straight off the get-go. Uh, this map is... Yeah, mainly grass. So if you are interested in doing a lot of grass work, interested in doing a lot of animal work, uh, I think this is going to be a pretty good map for you. Uh, it is uh, PC, uh, PC and Mac, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox uh, Series X and S uh, available. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty good. Let's start off then by having a look at the map itself. And there are a lot of fields on this. Uh, they're all fairly small, and we'll get into the field prices in a minute. Uh, we've got 109 up with up top. No, in fact, 112 down to there. So well over 100 fields available on this map. We've got several large forestry areas kicking around on it as well. Uh, there's, there's officially two forestry areas on it uh we've got a couple of lakes as well i mean you see the large one in the middle here and there's a few cell points and bits and pieces but it's not a massive map from uh that point of view there's a couple of cell grain uh, grain cell points on here but uh mainly the focus of this map seems to be animals if we have a look at the field prices on here most of the fields are actually really reasonably priced the cheapest I've found is 22, which goes down to as little as 13,000. So really good, uh, cheap field price here. The expensive areas on this field, though, uh, on this map, though, seem to be most of the six farmyard areas. So we've got uh, area 24, that is 691,000. Uh, we've got uh, Farmland 2, which is 753,000. Uh, we've got uh, Farmland ID 64, that is 632,000. So you're looking at fairly expensive uh, areas to buy the farmyards. However, and my original thought on here was that you wouldn't be able to do start from scratch. Farmland 38, which is one of the farmyards, uh, that is only 296. So if you want to do start from scratch on here and you want to buy a farmyard, uh, Farmland uh, 38 seems to be the one to purchase. It is the only one of the six farms on here that is under half a million. So yeah, if you want to, if you if you want to get started on here on start from scratch, that seems to be the place to go. All in all, I really like the price of, of everything on here for a map that is lots of small fields, lots of small to medium equipment. Uh, the prices here are a really good start. And talking of start, let's jump into the Land Rover. We are going to have a quick run around the map. We'll see if we can visit all six farms on here and see where they are. Also, see if we can find a load of the cell points. I have a feeling there's not a lot of productions on this map. Uh, a lot of the stuff around here seems to be uh, very much geared towards the animal setup. And I love this yard. How tight is this? Such uh, a, a, a good feeling to this yard of, of closeness and, uh, and just really really enclosed in this is this is about wide enough to get a tractor down you've got uh equipment parked all around everything here it's it's just such a nice farmyard i really really love this everything yeah everything is just sort of packed into this really well and you start off with we will go through all of the equipment everything but you start off with everything you need pretty much 
and uh, and i really like a map like that with when you're going in with new farmer and you want to hit the ground running having everything you need i think is uh, is really good it's normally quite nice to have a little bit kicking about uh but uh, certainly round here most of what you need is given to you straight off and that is just a really really nice starting yard uh you you've got everything you need to get yourself going with a dairy farm or a beef farm there and works really well and you can see the nice open space on here and and the way everything sort of rolls all the hills you can see uh the absolute dominance of grass fields on this uh, and it really is that much and then you get that view look at that this is a stunning stunning map it does have a little bit of roughness around the edges i will just say that, that some of these roads seem to drop off at the side a bit from from where i'm driving at the moment i will give kudos though to the creator this is this is all custom or looks to be custom modeled roadways on here which is not always the easiest thing to do on a map that's quite involved so uh, i quite like that I like that they've gone to all that trouble, uh, but I think the blending could be a little bit better. Again, minor issue, uh, not something that takes too away from the map too much, but there's a lot of custom modeled ground on this. And I think a, a little bit of blending would have been uh, would have been nice to just to just bring it all together. Not enough for me to, to dislike it or anything like that, but it, it just gives those those hard harsh edges. Uh, a little bit too much prominence uh good little yard here so this is the one that is the cheapest it's got a couple of grass fields either side of it and uh yeah you can see the the reason why this map is mostly grass with uh with some of those fields like that um but yeah this is a, this is a cracking little starter farm absolutely perfect if you're coming in here for uh a start from scratch setup don't know if this actually has any animals on it in fact you know why this, i can't tell that this looks like an animal pen this looks like somewhere where you would be uh doing uh animals on here however i think you need to own this land in order to actually be able to do anything with the animals in here so i'm guessing we do have uh some ability for animals on this farm you just need to buy the farm first i don't do you know what i do not think that there is a direction you look on this map where you don't get a stunning view i love the amount of elevation on this it is just an absolutely amazing looking map wow it it's incredible absolutely beautiful i'm i'm looking at this and six farms small fields this strikes me as being a cracking multiplayer map i think uh you know you could have six farms on here and set it up um it's one of those things at some point we will have or we will move on from valley spring on uh, on the server and uh, yeah, this this actually I think right now as a contender. I was wondering if this was a map I wanted to play But I'm looking at it and I'm very much going. This is just gorgeous and uh, And would make a cracking multiplayer map really really would And look at this so right down to the water here I, I love that the thing about these coastal maps quite often is that they are just beautiful things to drive around and yeah this is and it's got a huge amount of detail to it as well the, I, I love the way i'm driving along here and it's a little touch like all of the fence posts along the sides are uh, none of them are quite straight so there's a lot of variation to them and that just adds so much character to everything it's beautiful it really is we're heading up this way here looks like we've got the bga ahead of us 
Uh, we've got things like little creeks in the sides of, uh, of fields. We've got uh, small roadways cut through the grass. It's just so well done. Oh, this map is beautiful. We've got another really tight entrance here into a yard for another one of the farmyards by the looks of things. No, this is not a farmyard. This is the shop. So yeah, this is our uh, this is our shop area with that lots of uh, space spawning vehicles. Love to see that. And do we have a shed here that's openable? Is this also a farmyard? I don't. Think it might be. It might be a farmyard as well because that shed door should open. And it looks to me like. Oh, no, no, I can't go. Yeah, okay, I can't go in there at all. So, no, this is not a farmyard or, or not anything ever like that. It is uh, purely for show. Um, but, yeah, that's, uh, that's a cracking shop. Really love that. Then up the top here, just next door, we've got the BGA. And that has... Uh, good amount of space we've got a couple of nice big stylage clamps available there and looks like these are available to be tipped in from the top end is there yeah so there's a roadway up here you can back up you can tip in that is fantastic that is really cool so you tip in from this end and you slowly fill it from uh, from the roadway here rather than having to back up from in the BGA. I think this would be a map where using the BGA would be a lot of fun. Oh, this is this is a really nice map. This would be a great map actually for uh, the the DLC with all of the grasswork stuff on it. That DLC would work wonderfully on this map. I'm, I'm driving around this and I'm very tempted to have a go on this map with uh, myself with a, a setup on here and uh, just see what I can uh, what I can do. Start from scratch. I don't know if I would because I, I'd want to get one of the farmyards and uh, a, one of the farmyards outside of the small one. But uh, we could see what we could do. Yeah, we own a cow barn, two large cow barns and a sheep barn at our farm. Uh, but this is the animal market. Uh, nice and easy access to that. And around and through here. And this just looks absolutely stunning. Time for the woodland test. And this is the edge of the map. We will do that further around. Um, do like the detail around here. Yeah, I, I didn't even know I was at the edge of the map then. That's how crazy that is. In fact, yeah, that's the edge of the, that's the edge of the map. That is brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Also, little touch there. The X's to show you at the edge of the map are uh, are in uh, Irish green absolutely wonderful this is this is one of the most gorgeous maps i think i've seen it is absolutely stunning it is beautiful any direction i look at there's a massive amount of detail everywhere and it just works so well We've got a stone crusher down the bottom there with some piles of lime. I don't think any of those would be purchasable. Uh, and we've got another one of the farmyards here. So this is a little bit open on this side. Good shed in there. And then we've got a farmyard itself up this way. Oh, yeah, this is, this is a nice yard. I think this might be the nicest yard I've seen so far. We'll only open one side because I think we'd actually end up hitting the landy with the other. Again, big cow barns by the looks of things, or possibly big chicken. No, that's that's cow by the looks of things. And I do like the way all of this has been modelled. 
you know, all of this you could not achieve this without modeling all of these roadways and everything and i, I do like that i do like the a level of detail that has gone into creating these yards it's that extra little bit that uh that really helps and and really moves things forward we will do a quick test if you wanted to remodel any of these yards is that possible uh is any of this sellable no so these yards are not that customizable uh, i think with six yards what you'd have to do is pick the one that fits you the best for how you want to play this uh, i think that you would end up with uh not being able to customize these much and as i said in previous videos i do look for that customization and i do feel it pulls something away from the map a bit uh, if you aren't able to customize farms how you'd like so for example if you did really for some reason want to go massively arable on here and get rid of a load of the grass uh you'd find it very difficult to convert most of these yards by the looks of things into being purely arable yards you're always going to be stuck with uh a, a an animal setup on there of some description having said that i you're not playing this map to play a purely arable setup you are wanting to uh, use animals and uh, and do some sort of animal setup and look at the size of this yard so we've got a house up the top there fairly modern house we've got a, a very modern house down the bottom and then we've got this yard on multiple levels here yeah. that is just really interesting looking height uh with plenty of storage uh and space uh we've got cow barns all the way again we've got one of these uh back filling uh bga silage clamps and this is just oh this map is stunning this map is absolutely stunning. I can see why somebody placed a comment on one of my videos to play this map. I absolutely can. It is a gorgeous looking map. And trying to just go through my head ways in which I would play this map. Uh, because it, it's interesting from that point. It is, it is going to be, it would be a heavy grass setup. And trying to make a series, a, a series specifically interesting doing that is actually fairly hard uh, because you're doing the same thing over and over. However, this is a map that would be gorgeous to play. Really, really would. Because it is just beautiful. And I would not get bored playing it. You know, I, I think I think that is definitely one takeaway. Uh, I, I don't think anybody would get bored playing this map. Because at no point do you look at it and go, oh, I'm, I'm you know, I don't I don't like looking at this. I don't like driving around this. We have got a cell point over here for wood. Uh, we've got some wool over here. I don't There must be a cell point for wool around here somewhere. And this shed seems to be pretty uh full of cell points oh yeah i've got a grain cell point in there then i'm guessing then it's an unmarked wool cell point that we have here which is quite nice i think i'd like more indication so if we didn't have if we don't have a marking on the ground i would i would like a sign or something that says um you know gives it a, a name of a, a cell place and uh and, and then has like wool and wood and, and things around. Because that just helps give people that little visual view that, that that's a sell point for something. Um, whereas I'm kind of guessing at it. I can see stuff marked on the map, but uh, it, it just seems to be not overly obvious. Now, as we head up here... Uh, we've got a little bit of an area there that could be a placeables area. Uh, there's no, there doesn't seem to be much of a town anywhere around on this 
Uh, and I think up there is actually the edge of the map. So we're going to head down here. Yeah, there isn't a direction on this map that isn't gorgeous to look at. Lots of negatives in that statement. Everywhere is gorgeous. All around this map is just absolutely beautiful. And I think this is probably uh, the coup de grace as far as we go here. Fairview Farm, which would make sense for this to be the, uh, the big highlight farm on here. Nice long roadway up to it. Uh, a little bit of variety in the fields around it over the top and yeah we have again we've got some rear loading silage clamps uh we've got a very nice looking house and then we're down into this pipe yard and again we've got a, a whole load of uh, of buildings to to store equipment in We've definitely got, uh, I think that's a dairy yard. Yeah, yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful yard. And I, and, and this is this is most definitely my favorite yard on this map, looking around this. I think we've got a workshop in here by the looks of things as well. So if you put, yeah, purchase all of this. And uh, it looks like it's just, would just be a beautiful thing uh, to play absolutely stunning i am impressed by this map if you can't tell i uh, i think this would just be a, a gorgeous gorgeous map to play as as always there's there's always uh, something little that niggles at me on, on a map and on this one as i mentioned earlier it is the roads but that is not enough to put me off the rest of this map it is utterly stunning what a fantastic piece of work this map is just beautiful utterly utterly beautiful and so well done with such a cracking attention to detail uh really really loving this so let's have a quick look at the array of machinery that you get on here and looking at this it's not a small amount of uh, equipment you start with when you do a new farmer, starting with the small tractors, you get a Massey Ferguson 6S uh, 180 and a Massey Ferguson 4710M. Deli handlers, you get a Manitou MLT 737. Cars, you get a Lizard Pickup 1986. And it's got 120 hours on it. In fact, I'm going to go back because, yes, this map does something that so many other maps don't do, and I love it. There are hours on the equipment. You've got 10 hours on the Massey. You've got 55 hours on the uh, on the little Massey. Fantastic. Uh, so continuing through, we've got a uh, Class Carrot Trailer uh, 140TD. There's a Cavernland Eco Mat Plow, which requires... Actually, this requires way more horsepower than the tractor has. Mass Ferguson only has 180 horsepower, and that plow requires 220. So, uh, yeah, that plow is... Uh, is more power requirement than your tractor has. Cultivators, there's a Horsch Tirano 3FX. Power Harrows, you've got an HR4040. Cedars, there's a Nordstein HK25 plus NS3030. Sprayers, there's a Hardy Mega 1200L. Fertilizer spreaders, there's an Amazon ZATS3200. Manure spreaders, there's a Biri Manure Director 14. Slurry tanks, there's a FarmTech Supersys 800. Grassland Care, you've got the APV GK300 m1 full edition roller cedar mowers you've got a coon gmd 4411 headers there's a bicon fanex 904 wind rowers you've got a sanzi z2 840h Forage Wagons, there's a Potinger Faro 4010D. Bailers, you've got a Massey Ferguson MF1840. For animal feeders, you've got a Kuhn RA142. Silo Compaction, you've got a Dulsdorf 
3,000. Stella Handler Tools, you've got a Magisai Manure Fork and Pallet Fork. Low Loaders, you've got a Bremer Transport Wagon PP500S. And finally, for the weights, you've got a Class W600. That is a large amount of machinery straight off the bat. Uh, no Combine Harvester, so you've got a Cedar uh, and, uh, and everything to do arable fields except for a combine so there's no combine on here uh the plow is requires too much power for any of the tractors and you've got a cultivator and a power harrow i would sell the plow and get something smaller if you're needing a plow uh i would choose between either the cultivator or the power harrow and get rid of the other one of those and uh yeah i think the biggest outlay straight off the bat is going to be a combine harvester uh, because at the moment on here, you have no way of harvesting any arable crops you plant. So, yeah, a little bit of adjustment. As I said, it doesn't quite give you everything you need. And uh, you probably want to keep your eye out for a combine fairly early on in the sales if you can. Especially if it's one of the smaller ones. All in all, then, I think this is a cracking map. Uh, I think multiplayer, it would be a huge amount of fun. You'd get a lot of people doing a lot of grass work on here. And uh, and I, th I think it'd be a good map for that from that point of view. Uh, there is scope here to do the arable side if you want, but I, I, I think it's, it's not a map that would be great for that. Uh, not a lot of productions or anything like that. It seems to be a map very much that you just want to uh, do your grass work do your animals and sell whatever you output. Uh, and I think from that point of view, it would be a very fun map. I'm not sure with how hilly it is, how easy it would be to put some productions in. Uh, you might need to try and find some flat areas to do that. But uh, I think it is a map that says exactly what it wants to be on the tin. It is absolutely a map for doing grass work and doing cows and sheep and it works really really well for that i would uh head over to the mod hub download it for pc mac playstation 4 playstation 5 xbox one or xbox series x and s and uh go and have fun with it and give it five stars because i think this map absolutely deserves it uh for now we're gonna leave this here so all that remains is for me to say Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live, and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.